Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Bio Explorer. I am Dimuthya Ratna. This is an educational channel and this channel will be very useful to improve your biological knowledge. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about regulation mechanism of enzymatic activity in cells. Allosteric regulation of enzymes. In many cases, the molecules that naturally regulate the enzyme activity in a cell behave like reversible non-competitive inhibitors. Here, the regulatory molecule binds to an enzyme someplace other than the active site via non-covalent interactions and affect the shape and function of the enzyme. The place where the regulator binds is called the allosteric site. It may result in either inhibition or stimulating the enzyme activity. Most enzymes regulated by allosteric regulation are made from two or more subunits. Allosteric enzymes typically have multiple active sites located on different protein subunits. When an activator binds with this regulator site, which is often located where subunits join, stabilizes the shape with functional active sites. It causes an increase in the function of the active sites. Also, in a process called cooperativity, the substrate itself can serve as an allosteric activator. Binding of one substrate molecule can stimulate binding or activity at other active sites, thereby increases the catalytic activity. This is considered as allosteric regulation because the substrate affects active sites far from its binding site. Example, hemoglobin is not an enzyme and it is made up of four subunits each with an oxygen binding site. The binding of one oxygen molecule to one binding site increases the affinity for oxygen of the remaining binding sites. When an inhibitor binds with the regulatory site, it stabilizes the inactive form of the enzyme. All subunits of the enzyme are arranged in a way through which they transmit the signals quickly to other subunits. Through the interaction of subunits, even a single activator or inhibitor molecule that binds to one regulatory site will affect the active sites of all subunits. Here, all active sites on the protein subunits are changed slightly so that they work less well. Feedback inhibition Feedback inhibition is an essential process that regulates the end products produced in metabolism. Here, the end product of a metabolic pathway acts on the relevant enzyme and prevents more of the end products from being produced. When there is only a small amount of products, the enzyme will not inhibit it and the metabolic pathway will continue to make more products. When there are lots of products have produced, it will block the enzyme, preventing the production of new product until the existing supply has been used up, thereby limit the production of more end products than required and prevent wasting chemical resources. Example, ADP function as allosteric activator binds to the enzyme and stimulates the production of ATP by catabolism. If the supply of ATP exceeds demand, catabolism slows down as ATP molecules function as allosteric inhibitor. So that's all today. Hope you enjoy this video and gain a lot of interesting facts about factors affecting the rate of enzymatic activities. So please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon. See you in the next video.